Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video for 4.5 metallic bond. In this video, what we're going to learn is to explain the electrical conductivity using band theory. So actually for the properties of metal, we have learned there's four, malleability, ductility, electrical conductivity as well as thermal conductivity. Okay, right now what we're going to learn is to explain the electrical conductivity using band theory. Okay, so for the band theory, uh, what you need, what are the terms that are important for you to know is that the valence band, okay, valence band, it means that it is occupied by, by the valence electron. So conduction band is occupied by the free electron. Okay, so why do we mention about free electron? Because again, when we're talking about the metallic bond, uh, we have our positively charged metal, okay, surrounded by the sea of electron, lah, mobile electron, the free electron. So, uh, this is the, the two terms that we have to take into account. Okay, but just please add in your notes. There's forbidden band. So, forbidden band is actually the energy gap between valence and conduction band. Okay, so again, we're talking about the electrical, electrical conductivity. So, what is the electrical conductivity? based on the band theory itself. Okay, so here you mentioned that the conductivity depends on the gap between the valence band and conduction band. Okay, so for example, so this is the example, uh, this is the uh, band gap for the case of our metal. So we have the energy. Okay, so we have our valence band again. Here we have our valence electron. Okay, so conduction band, right now we don't have any electron yet lah. Okay, so the, it mentions here conductivity depends on the gap between the valence and the conduction band. Okay, so in metal, there is no gap between valence band and conduction band. So, memang tak ada gap lah kat sini. Okay, so here it mentions that the valence band uh, and the conduction band is overlap. Uh, so, it's very near to each other. Sebenarnya, dia boleh overlap. So, it means that for this case, sebab dia dekat kan, again, sebab kat sini dia kata forbidden band is the energy gap. But for the case of the matter itself, we don't have energy gap dekat sini lah. Dia rapat macam ni kan. So here we can mention that there is no forbidden gap lah for the case of metal. Okay, so again, this is we're talking about conductivity. Uh, so contoh for conductor, we don't have any. So again, conductor is actually a material that allows the electron to flow through. Okay, so the conduct electron. So for example, our charger lah. Okay, so bila kamu tengok charger kamu tu, it seems like it is plastic. But behind yang itu kita dah... Uh, insulate dia sebenarnya ataupun kita dah coverkan dia but actually in reality dah metal lah. Okay, so untuk for the case um for the material that can conduct electricity uh, so sebenarnya um apa ni there's no band gap. Okay, kat sini tak ada ni pun. If for example we have insulator. Uh, insulator tu example that we don't have um apa ni is material that does not allow electron to flow ataupun electric to flow. Ha, contohnya plastik. Ha, plastik tak boleh conduct electric lah. So, contoh kalau case yang tak boleh conduct electric, kira ni valence band kita. So, this will be the conduction band. Ha, so, ada gap dekat sini. But for the case of metal, there's no band gap. So, kita akan lukis rapat lah. Okay, so what happened here? So, when there's no band gap, so it means that this electron, okay, can move to the conduction band lah. So, maksud dia elektron ni nanti boleh semua dekat sini. So, once electron is all here, uh, so I didn't have the electron ni, uh, when it's mobile, so right now, what does it mean that it can flow? Uh, so, it means that we can conduct electricity lah. Okay. Uh, so, itu sahaja uh, dia punya extra explanation for electrical conductivity. Okay, we have a valence band and conduction band. So, for the case of metal, there's no band gap. Ataupun, we can mention that the valence band and conduction band overlap. Okay, so bila dia overlap, elektron boleh di sini. Once we have our mobile electron, so it means that it can conduct electricity. Okay, so that's for the explanation. Now, let's look for the past year. So, how do I explain this one again? So, let's look based on the past year. So, last year, uh, here calcium is a silvery white soft metal that tarnishes easily in the air. By using the electron C model, illustrate the formation of metallic bond in calcium. Explain the electrical conductivity exhibited by calcium. So, in your, your notes, uh, tak ada yang ni, please add in the question yourself lah. Okay. So, here it mentioned that by using the C, electron C model, illustrate the formation of metallic bond in calcium. Electron C model yang macam mana? Uh, electron C model yang macam ni lah. Okay. So, for the case of calcium, okay, we know that for the calcium, 
actually it will donate two electron we will come ca2 plus lah plus two electron okay so how do i um draw the electron c model so bila kita nak c model maksudnya kita nak electron banyak kan uh, so bila katakan uh, when we're talking about c we want the atom to be a lot jugalah so for example okay what i'm gonna draw i'm gonna draw my positive ion for my calcium Okay, minimum, I want to draw 6, for example. So, right now, I have my 6, uh, my 6 uh, positively charged metal. Okay. So, right now, for the electron C model, okay, what do we have? Okay, so, for each of our atom, ni, we have 2 electron lah. Okay, so, make sure for each atom, ni, so, contohnya for calcium, so, we have 2 lah. Contohnya, for example, we have Al3+, plus, so, it means that we need to have 3 electron as well. Okay, so, we have to label the electron. So right now again I have for each of my ion I have two electron. So so total we have need to have 12 lah. Okay. So this is our electron C model. Okay. Next what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna draw a border. Okay, next I'm gonna label okay this electron. Okay, so we're gonna mention lah our C of electron is sebenarnya is actually a free moving ataupun delocalized. Delocalized ni it means that it is free moving electron now free moving electron so if you don't want to remember that it is delocalized we can mention that this is a free moving electrons okay so uh, this is for the electron c model but then we do have to explain okay so macam mana nak explain dia pula so once we have drawn it uh, the marker here next we have to explain so first for the explanation we mentioned that for the each calcium atom donate uh, or lose two electron to form ca2 plus ion so again we were talking about c of electron uh, sebab tu kalau kamu buat dua je uh, tak dapatlah c of electron tu okay minimum six if you want to do more it's possible lah okay but then uh, takkan ni je explanation next we have to mention lah so actually how do we form your metallic bond ni so we have to write down that the metallic bond forms from the electrostatic force of attraction between positive ion and negatively charged C of electron. So when we're talking about bond ni, contohnya uh, for example our ionic bond kan, that the positive negatively charged tu. So we have our opposite attract lah. For the case of metallic bond ni pun sama juga. But instead of using two different atom, uh, the uh, force of attraction tu is between our cation, positive ion ni and the electron that it's donated ataupun it's lose lah. Uh, so this is the explanation for the case of um, here we mentioned metallic bond. Okay, so that's the first question kita lah. Okay, so next question dia adalah uh, explain the electrical conductivity exhibited by calcium. So actually there are two ways to explain it. One is actually we mentioned about the electrons are mobile. Itu one thing. But then we also have learned about band theory kan. Uh, so kita bagi tahu lah tentang band theory. Okay, so explain the electrical conductivity exhibited by calcium. Uh, so, first thing, apa kita nak tulis sebenarnya? Okay, so we can mention that for calcium, the valence band and conduction band overlap. Okay, ataupun there's no forbidden gap pun boleh. Okay, so you don't have to explain what is valence band, what is conduction band. Okay, you don't need to draw this one as well. Just mention that the valence band and the conduction band overlap. Okay, so what does it mean when it overlap? So it means that the electron can move from the valence band to conduction band. So when there's the conduction band in, there's we have um free moving electron. So it means that it can conduct electricity lah. Okay, uh, so this is the way to explain it using band theory. Uh, it's very simple. Benda tu memang, hmm, itu sahaja. Ataupun if you want to write down in terms of free moving electron pun boleh. Okay, so when we're talking about the free moving electron, we can also mention that the calcium can conduct electricity due to the delocalized or free moving electron. So again, for conductivity, there's two explanations lah. Um, you can either use in band theory ataupun uh, in terms of the electron C model. It depends on the question. So since this question tak, tak ada mention specifically, so we, you can choose either one lah. Okay, but then because we're going to learn. So, since this is a new stuff, so kita kena tulis dua-dua sahaja lah. Okay. So, that's it for this video. Uh, it's actually we're talking about metallic bond and the bond band theory.